Hello my friends, so finally I'm back after being sick the last week and a half or so. As you see my beard has fully grown back again. So in this video, this is going to be a very short uh, visualization video with Interactive Brokers. I want to show how to visualize uh, your short and long positions for each symbol um, using Interactive Brokers' IBA Sync slash IBN Sync library. Um, this is my first video in HD. I finally figured out how to do HD. So please let me know if it's a lot better. Um, and we, and if you guys are interested in much more uh, sophisticated visualizations of your portfolio, please write in the comments what you're interested in seeing. I can think of doing something like if say Tesla goes to 200, Nvidia 135 at a certain time, what would be like an estimate for my portfolio value, things like that. But uh, please write in the comments what you're interested in seeing and let's get started. Okay, so first let's connect to IB. So connect to IB, so from IB async import star, IB equals IB, util dot start loop, that's needed for Jupyter, IB dot connect, deplore input 4001, client IB equals zero. Okay, so we connect it to IB. So now to view your portfolio, we can do this. Portfolio, you can do um, IB dot portfolio. And to make it a data frame, you can do util dot df ib dot portfolio but there's going to be an account value and i don't want to show my account value even though this is not my real account so I'll, I'll just show you how to do that you can do this makes a data frame and then to drop the account value you do drop account uh access equals one and this is your portfolio as you see this is the portfolio you have your contract um in this case i happen to have all options but it doesn't matter your position, your market price, market value, average cost, unrealized profit and loss, and realized profit and loss. Okay, so let's call this, let's say DF portfolio. Portfolio, okay. So um, what we want is we wanna visualize per symbol the value of the uh, market value of the long and short positions. So like what we can do is we can do something like this. We can do DF portfolio, and we can extract the symbol from the option, from the contract, so the DF portfolio symbol equals DF portfolio dot contract dot apply, lambda L, L dot symbol. So now if I do DF portfolio, you'll see I have uh, the symbol, AMD, Meta, Nvidia, Tesla. Okay, so now let's, um, let's do a group by symbol and, um, all right, get, get market value by symbol and um, if long or short. So we can do something like this. We can do, um, I guess I'll do it, like, I'll do it this way. I can do DF portfolio dot group by, and then I can do symbol, and then I can do DF portfolio. I probably should make it easier and do multiple lines, but we can do something like this uh, just to be fancy. So um, we have we group by symbol, and if the position is greater than zero is long and less than zero is short, as you see the position, and we're gonna group uh, market price. Maybe I'll, I should have made this a little bigger. Um, so we'll group uh, market, uh, market value, sorry. Um, and it also has unrealized and realized. I would ignore that because it depends on how you do your accounting. So like I'll do market value, value dot sum, just to show you guys. So then I have the market value for each symbol and position, but I, I prefer it as a data frame, so I can do to frame, and then I can do market value. Let's just keep it as the same name. And so, okay, so I have market value. So I can also call this like DF, uh, I'll just call it DFP like this, okay. So I can also do dot reset index to make it no index. So I have DFP like this, okay. But we want like a nice thing where you have like a symbol and then you have like, is it long or short? Uh, uh, the long value and the short value. So we can use a pivot table. Okay, so now I can say like, uh, uh, use pivot, pivot to get in nice format. Okay, so like um, now I can do DFP dot pivot. Um, let me see if I can do it the first try. So columns, what columns do we want? We want the position column. I call it a position, but we probably could call it something else. We could call it, um, um, 
you know, let's keep it call it position for a second, and then we'll 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 change the name in a second. So uh, index, let's do index equals symbol, and then let's do uh, values equals uh, market value. And let me show you what this does. So what it basically will do is it'll basically keep the um, index as is, and in position it'll make like one column with the false and one with the true. So it'll be one this value and this value, but instead of two rows, it'll be uh, two columns. So look at this, this is what you get. Um, so, um, okay, so let me actually call it the same name. So I'll call it DFP. Okay, so DFP is like this. So, uh, and you know, let's do, um, let's just redo this. Let's do fill in A is zero because if you have no value, it's zero. So let's do like this, oops, sorry. Okay, so now you see this is the market value and this is if it's long or short, right? So let's actually rename the columns because um, it's a multi-index. Let's do, let's make the columns, um, let's make the columns equals, um, equals uh, short, um, short uh, market value, uh, long market. Okay, so great. So now we have this thing. Okay, so now we just want to visualize this thing. So we can use Plotly, uh, visualize, I don't know how to spell visualize with Plotly. It's the problem with spell check is uh, you become so bad at spelling, you don't know if it's S or a Z. Anyways, forget that. Import Plotly.express as px and then I can do um, px dot um, bar um, and by the way if you don't mention uh, if you just give like an x or a y if you don't give like both the x and y um, the missing one will automatically be like the symbol so I can do something like this I can do like x uh, equals um, short market value and then this will be long market value and let's see if this works that's not good oh okay so that so I, I need something else I need uh, like I need a uh, I need a group right or a color uh, equals um, ah let me just cheat what did I do in my practice? I did uh, PA dot bar. Oh, oops. <laughs> I, I did it completely wrong. Uh, no, I did it right. I just did PX dot bar. I, I just, oh, I'm stupid. I didn't give it the, the actual name of the data frame. So DFP like this. And I don't need this color symbol. Okay. Sorry. That was a, okay. So this is the visualization I wanted. But maybe we actually want to sort it where like the biggest uh, total position is on top and the smallest is on the bottom. So uh, by default, Plotly does it in a reverse order. So you can actually so sort this thing. So you can do like DFP dot sort values. Um, um, oh, you know, let's create another column. We'll create a column, we'll call it um, uh, total market value or you know what? Let's say maybe net market value equals uh, DFP dot sum axis equals one and then I can sort values by new market value in place equals true and if you guys want a series on pandas also let me know uh, so you have like the new market value sorted reverse so now you can get your nice visualization like this as you see like this fake portfolio is like has the most AMD then Tesla that that sort of thing as you see Tesla has a pretty high short value in the position, meaning uh, you have a lot of short options or sold options. NVIDIA has some sold options, Meta. Um, so anyways, uh, this was just a short video to get back in the groove. Hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna see other visualization videos, let me know in the comments. If you're new, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.